So one of my friends asked me the other day, Ben, can you make me some sushi in one of your videos? And I thought, well, I've already done some sushi, so I don't really want to repeat myself. So I decided to go super sized. So to begin with, we're going to prepare the rice. This is the only part of sushi that you'll actually need to cook. And we're just gonna cook our sushi rice according to its packing instructions. Then it should be like sort of nice and sticky when we're finished. Okay, here I've got a very large cake tin, so this is what you normally bake a huge cake in. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to line this with some sushi. These are these are called nori, they're like sheets of sushi. And I cut them to the right, so they're the right height, and just line the entire tin with these bits of sushi, these bits of seaweed. So. Tiny bit of cold water right here, and I'm basically uh, going to use this cold water. I'm going to dab a little bit of lo a dab a little bit of dab a little bit of it along the edges of my bits of seaweed, just along here with a little bit of water, and we can, so we can seal the bits of seaweed together so they form one continuous chain. <laughs> So I've got my long sheet of seaweed here, as you can see. I'm just gonna wrap this around the inside of our tin. This is gonna be on the outside of our sushi. To hold the seaweed in place, we had the idea to use some paper clips just to make sort of from flopping inwards. Okay, so I've got a tin can here, and I'm just gonna use this, um, I'm gonna place this in the middle of our tin. So this is gonna be where our filling is, gonna be where our seafood and vegetables are. I'm just gonna put rice around the outside of this tin to form the rice layer. And just using a spoon, we're going to spread out the rice so it forms a nice, even layer. It's nice and flat. Okay, now we're just going to remove the can in the middle and it's going to leave like a sort of nice little circle where we can put our fillings. Damn, it's actually legit. It actually, it worked really well. It's like a proper ring in the middle. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare our fillings. So I'm going to be using red pepper, cucumber, and some crab meat. But you can use whatever you like. So I've got a big tin that I'm going to place our cake tin on top of, like this. The tin that you place your cake tin on top of must be smaller than your cake tin so that you can lift the sushi out of the cake tin. So I'm going to take my paste off now to prevent the sushi from ripping. Okay, so we're going to try this again. We're going to pull these sides down. We're gonna fold the seaweed over like this onto the bottom of the thing, and now we're gonna we're gonna flip our sushi. We're using a plate. This is probably the scariest part of the sushi making process. Place that on top. Yes, it's not working. And we're gonna flip it. 